So drifters are historical figures from any time, any country, and they are sent to this magical world, this other world, to stop the end. And now the end are other historical figures, but these historical figures are evil or bad, and they're trying to destroy the world. So it's drifters versus the ends. Historical figures versus historical figures. It sounds like an interesting plot, but is it actually done well? Let's find out. So right away, the, the plot just sounds really interesting, just like a Fate Stay Night. I was immediately grabbed by the idea of having historical figures fight it out, you know, to the death. <laughs> I am, I am, I'm very big on uh, historical type of shows and historical fiction, so if I can see, you know, various historical figures from different countries, different times, I'll fight it out. That's super awesome. That's why I like Fate Stay Night so much. But our story immediately starts with a samurai from the 1600s who dies trying to buy time for his uncle to retreat. Now this isn't a spoiler as this is historical fact, can't really spoil historical fact, it's kind of like, yeah, obviously. Anyway, just from this introdu introduction, this quick 10 minute introduction, you really get a feeling for this character, you know, what he how he fights, what he believes in, all that stuff, so you, you get an immediate understanding of this character. So, it got me really excited because the intro scene was the art style, the, the speed that you feel as the character is running all that I was like, wow, this is this is really gonna have really over the top fight scenes. This is gonna be amazing, and uh, I was really excited for it. Oh, by the way, uh, the samurai was is uh, Shimazu Toyohisa, and uh, that's a little bit that you should know. So later on, we're introduced to Oda Nobunaga and Nasu no Yoichi. Now you might know Oda if you have any knowledge in Japanese history or you've seen any anime uh, based in any historical setting or with samurais. A lot of the time, Oda is referenced in. Uh, in anime, but the other character you might not know if you have no historical knowledge of Japan. Now instantly that might be a problem as a lot of the jokes and backstories about the character aren't explained at all. The show immediately assumes that you know everything about these characters, so hopefully you know anything about uh, Shimazu Toyoha, the Shimazu clan. You hopefully you know anything about Oda Nobunaga, how he died, what he stood for, what he fought, and maybe hopefully you know anything about um, Nasut no Yoichi. These are things that are a problem for people that don't have knowledge in history, kind of like I did. So <laughs> I didn't have any knowledge. I was like, what are these jokes? What do these mean? So I, I had to read up on on a little bit on these characters, which some people might not like because obviously if you want to go into a show, you want to have everything explained to you. I, on the other hand, really enjoy reading historical anything from any country. So I didn't have a problem with it, but I... I can see why people would have a giant problem with having to read just to watch an anime. So even though I know that the anime is obviously geared to Japanese audience, obviously anime are, uh, no show has ever made me feel this more than drifters, really. You know, a lot of the jokes, a lot of the info it just goes right over my head because I don't understand or don't know much about Japanese history. It definitely has this very East versus West type feeling. Um, so yeah, this show does definitely make you feel like, yeah, this is definitely geared towards the Japanese audience first. And, uh, well, I know that because anime obviously is made for Japanese audience. Nothing, nothing has quite made me feel as much as this show has. Another reason is because unlike Fate Stay Night where you get a wide variety of heroes from different countries, different things, this is very East versus West, like I said, um, which is kind of disappointing. A lot of the heroes are Eastern, or specifically, not even Eastern, just specifically Japanese. You know, I was hoping to see a, a wide range of characters from wide range of countries, why a different amount of times, but it's pretty set in uh, samurai times. <laughs> so that was a bit disappointing. Most of the drifters, you know, aka the good guys that are not from Japan are used very little either in joke pieces or thrown away or they're only used in like one or two episodes. Meanwhile, the end, which are the bad guys, they're mainly just Western historical figures. You've got Russians, you've got whatever the main bad guy is, but it definitely is like the West, Western historical figures are the bad guys. The good guys are the Eastern uh, heroes. And, you know, even when they, when they, a Japanese World War II soldier is the good guy and he's stopping the evil guys, you can tell, like, you're like, okay, yeah, this is definitely Japanese. Is that most shows wouldn't make a World War II Japanese soldier, or at least most Western shows wouldn't make a Japanese World War II soldier the good guy. But this show does make them the good guys. So, yeah, d definitely be prepared for the definitely the western heroes bad guys eastern japanese not even that's the thing it's not even eastern heroes it's japanese heroes you don't you i don't, haven't seen any chinese heroes i haven't seen any any of that it's japan versus the west you definitely get that so be prepared for that now one thing i will say about the portrayal of the japanese heroes is more specifically oda nobunaga is amazing i really liked it 
So I've never been to Japan. I don't know what the average Japanese person thinks about Oda Nobunaga, but uh, from his portrayal in anime, he is definitely almighty, all powerful. He's the can do no wrong type of a character. He's the, the best of the best, basically. He's a god among men. Is what Oda Nobunaga is mostly portrayed of in anime. But in Drifters, he has mistakes, he has weaknesses, he has regrets. Uh, but at the same time, you still feel the power and authority from Oda Nobunaga, which I find great. With most anime, when uh, Nobunaga is betrayed, you're like, why? <laughs> you know, this Nobunaga is so honorable, he's so good, he's just, and the traitor is the evil one. But in Drifters, you kind of get a good look at as uh, why he was betrayed, basically, or why he believes he was betrayed. You know? Now let's talk art. Well, my anime list says that this is the first anime that this studio has worked on. The manga is created from the same writer as Helsing. So both animes have a very similar similar art style with that bold type of look to it. The reds, the color. They're very, very similar. It's very bloody, very expressive, detailed backgrounds. And there's such an emphasis on the eyes a lot of the times. It's very cool to see. Uh, it gives him an evil nature, even if it's the good guys. Uh, so I really, really like that. It's a very good, cool factor. Uh, we can talk about the choice of color palette, too. Um, but that that would just... I could go on forever. So let's, let's just say it looks great. Uh, basically, the show looks amazing, has great colors, great characters, and when they start fighting, the sense of movement is great. You really get that sense of speed, that the slashes, everything. It, it's all portrayed really well, uh, thanks to the perfect art style. So one thing that I will mention is that when jokes are made, they're, they're done in this simplized art style. You know, the background is one color, the, the shapes of the characters become really simple. And uh, some people might not like this as it's such a change from the dark aesthetic. I personally... I was personally fine with it, as I thought the jokes were pretty funny, and I had no problem with jokes in this show, but I know some people might just want a serious, complete serious anime, um, so just something I thought I would point out. So one last thing I will want to mention about the art is the in the intro, the clips that they show where they emphasize on one character, that art style is amazing, it looks beautiful, I'll just put some, some of the pictures up on, on screen right now, but... Yeah, those things look amazing. Uh, I would really like to draw in that type of art style that they used for those scenes. So in the end, Drifter is a great show. The main characters are a blast to, to be with. They, they work really well off each other. The fights and the art styles are awesome. I enjoyed the comedy too. So people that might enjoy this are people that have historical knowledge. Like I said before, nothing about the characters will be told to you. Everything will be assumed that you know about them. Jokes will might go over your head if you don't know what they're talking about. So definitely have some knowledge or you might get frustrated from not knowing what the hell is going on, what they're referencing. One example I can give is that there is this hatred between this one character and this other character. This character hates this character, but we're not really told why because it's assumed that you know why. Um, I had to go research and I'm like, oh, now it makes sense why he hates him, but uh, they never tell you in the show it's assumed you know, so that's what I'm talking about. So that's basically all I would like to say. I enjoyed the show and uh, I did. I couldn't figure it out throughout the entire show of the bad The main bad guy was Jesus. The, the, that's not really a spoiler. You'll see it immediately and be like, what the hell is this guy Jesus? Um, but we do have a second season coming, so look forward to that. This show might actually have an ending, which if you know anime, animes never have endings. So to actually get an opportunity to finish the show is great. So hopefully it ends. And uh, that's all I have for this anime review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want to discuss a little bit more, Leave it down in the comments and I can reply and talk uh, about it. So have a good one, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.